Ken Ripkudan, a man with a notable religious and political past, claims to be the latest victim of a threat upon his life by a religious group in central Trinidad. In the early hours of this morning at his Cascade home, his daughter woke him to deliver some frightening news that his van was alight with flames. I think it was completely damaged. Uh, Ken Ripkudan, a man with a notable religious and political past, claims to be the latest victim of a threat upon his life by a religious group in central Trinidad. In the early hours of this morning at his Cascade home, his daughter woke him to deliver some frightening news that his van was alight with flames. I think it was completely damaged. Uh, my home, which would have a three million dollars, was damaged on the eastern side of the building. And uh, um, part of this sort of arsenal we call it in regards to my property. The Mazda BT-50 4x4 was burned to its shell. Prudence says that he was a member of a religious organization which he recently called a cult in a newspaper. It represented uh, what you call a Christ-like organization. And by this specific in the conduct itself, it's an order leader. And what I saw there was not consistent with that kind of teachings. And I was issued because I feel I have a right to sue them. But having recognized what cult is all about, we do not adhere to any what you call corrections. So they use force in order to appeal people. And this is what happened to me last night. He says he and two others have previously been victims of death threats from a group he's familiar with. Sunday, a member was, was targeted by these 12 members. And by the Monday, our other member in Grammy was targeted by these 15 members. Um, threats and that sort of thing. I will also receive threats. TV6 News was able to contact one of the persons Prudhoe claimed was victimized by the group. Sophia Carter confirmed receiving death threats as well when she attempted to publicize information about them. Attempts to contact the second victim were unsuccessful. Tracy Jordan, TV6 News. A family of six is now.